What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video on Get Up, they're going to be talking about, is Daniel Jones a better quarterback than Sam Darnold? So see what they have to say about that. Rex, I know you're a big Daniel Jones guy. Anyone who watched our coverage of the draft knows you liked him then, and you've been critical and questioning of Darnold. To this point, what are you seeing? Well, I'm seeing a guy that hasn't taken that step that we thought he would. Everybody thought he would take a step forward. Some people thought he'd take a leap forward. Well, that hasn't been the case, man. You brought in the quarterback guru, right? The head coach, quarterback guru, and all that. And all I've seen him do is regress. Look, this kid is a super talent, okay? He is. Daniel Jones is just a better quarterback. And so to me, until, Dan, you talked about it, until this kid's fundamentals get better, who, as a coach, isn't that your job to do? Coach this kid up fundamentally? Until those improve, he's not going to be a very good quarterback. All right, yeah, but like... So you guys, we wind us back about 10 seconds. And look at the guy on the far left. He makes a face like someone just took a huge dump in their pants. But anyway, so, so it wasn't two weeks ago that everybody was talking about Sam Donald's like the savior of New York and he saved New York and uh, he's better than Dak Prescott because the, he beat the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. And two weeks later, now he's trash. Now he's not going to be a good quarterback. I mean, you guys flip and flop eat for each week for these young quarterbacks. And one week he's the GOAT, then the next week he's trash. I mean, you got to give this guy some time to develop and don't put so much pressure on these guys, especially on a second year guy. It just doesn't make sense. So let's continue. Is, why would you think they're going to improve? Adam Gase has had one really good year and it was with Peyton Manning. So I don't know who's calling him a quarterback coach or a quarterback whisperer. Sam Darnold is not going to play well or get better around this team. That offensive line stinks. They're bad at communication. They don't have weapons on the outside. And it's, you can't say Daniel Jones is a better quarterback. Yeah, I can't. Why? Easily I can't. He just why? threw four touchdown passes. But I can do it because he, where, where's the weapons? You talk about weapons. Daniel Jones the got Jets, all they did, no, they, no, That's crazy. Don't all they did was bring in. They brought in Crowder. Evan Ingram. They brought in Crowder. They brought in uh, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. Oh, by the way, he's supposed to be pretty decent right there. And I'm sitting back. All they, you know, they, they got Anderson. They do this. They're playing without Shepard. They played without Golden Tate for most of the year. And Saquon Barkley. So how can I say it? Easily. I'll say it every. I'll say it this year. I'll say it next year. In the next 10 years, this kid's a legit you, quarterback. You think the Jets have more talent on offense than the Giants do? No, I don't think any of them. I think they both lack talent. Okay. The one you just make. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, because they're both probably sitting about the same range, about the same type of receivers or quality receivers, um, running backs, pretty much the same quality. Some people might go with Saquon, some people might go with Le'Veon Bell, but it, it kind of depends. Offensive line's kind of a push for both of those, so I don't know. But all I know is, is two weeks ago, Sam Donald was a save in New York, and he was better than Dak Prescott, and now that he got beat up by the New England Patriots, what, two weeks ago, and just lost last week or whatever, now he's trash. Now he's pure trash. So, I don't know. Let's continue. Uh, all, all we do is Make alibi excuses. for this team. No, no, I, That's I, I all to, the hell we do. I have to agree. And the I Giants, have, we don't. The, the New York Jets look like a terribly coached football team. This is a team that was humiliated on Monday Night Football, needed to come out with fire in their bellies yesterday, and their defense laid down on the opening drive. Gardner Minshew went right through them like a hot knife through butter. And I said a few weeks ago, if you just watched Darnold and Dak Prescott play at the same time, you would have said Darnold was better. Yesterday, no one would have taken Sam Darnold over Gardner Minshew, who made the Jet defense look terrible yesterday. The Jets look unprepared. Their offensive line is a joke. Their game plan is a joke. Their acquisition of Le'Veon Bell is looking terrible because the coach doesn't look like he has any idea how to use him. And I'll tell you what, we had a one-and-done coach in the National Football League last year. I believe we are very well on our way to the other if the ownership is paying any attention to what's going on right now. Adam Gase has been a disaster thus far for the Jets. Completely agree. Yeah, I agree too. So I think really both of these teams, I think, are on par with each other. There's no, neither of them are significantly better than the other. So at this point, you know, Daniel Jones and Sam Darnold, I think I'm just looking at them as two young quarterbacks. I mean, one's a rookie and Daniel Jones and what Sam Darnold, he's a second year player. So these guys are still young. I still give them a little bit more time to see how they pan out, to see how they make adjustments to the speed of the NFL. I know uh, um, Sam Darnold, this is his second year. But he's missed a lot of time being sick. And like I said, I just like to give you guys a little bit more time. So, I don't know. Let's continue. I expected it. And I would say this for both quarterbacks. We don't really know what either of them are going to be at the end of this year. Because I don't – does anybody, if you're a fan of the Jets or the Giants, feel really good about their play caller, whether it's Pat Shermer or Adam Gase? No, I don't think any of those coaches is putting the quarterback in a position to play really good football. But, Dan, I feel good about the talent. The thing, too, look, the Giants right now, 
the, the biggest thing that separates the Jets and the Giants, uh, you know, expectations, obviously. Why? The Jets were supposed to have a, a fantastic defense. The Giants have a horrendous defense.